Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to read about the story of the devoted friend, part 1. Now, come on, let us start to read. One morning, the old water rat put his head out of his hole. He had bright beady eyes and stiff grey whiskers and his tail was like a long bit of black india rubber. The little ducks were swimming about in the pond, looking just like a lot of yellow canaries. And their mother, who was pure white with real red legs, was trying to teach them how to stand on their heads in the water. You will never be in the best society unless you can stand on your heads, she kept saying to them. And every now and then she showed them how it was done. But the little ducks paid no attention to her. They were so young that they did not know what an advantage it is to be in society at all. What disobedient children, cried the water rat. They really deserve to be drowned. Nothing of the kind, answered the duck. Everyone must make a beginning and parents cannot be too patient. Ah, I know nothing about the feelings of parents, said the water rat. I am not a family man. In fact, I have never been married and I never intend to be. Love is all very well in its way. But... Friendship is much higher. Indeed, I know of nothing in the world that is either nobler nor rarer than a devoted friendship. And what, pray, is your idea of the duties of a devoted friend? Asked a green linnet, who was sitting in a willow tree hard by and had overheard the conversation. Yes, that is just what... I want to know, said the duck, and she swam away to the end of the pond and stood upon her head in order to give her children a good example. What a silly question, cried the water rat. I should expect my devoted friend to be devoted to me, of course. And what would you do in return, said the little bird, swinging upon a silver spray and flapping his tiny wings. I don't understand you, answered the linnet. And he flew down, and alighting upon the bank, he told the story of the devoted friend. Once upon a time, said the linnet, there was a honest little fellow named Hans. Was he very distinguished? Asked the water rat. No, answered the linnet. I don't think he is distinguished at all except for his kind heart and his funny, round, good-humoured face. He lived in a tiny cottage all by himself and every day he worked in his garden. In all the countryside, there was no garden so lovely as his. Sweet William grew there and gilly flowers and shepherd's purses and fair maids of France. There were damask roses and yellow roses, lilac crocuses and gold, purple violets and white columbine and lady smock, marjoram and wild basil, the cowslip and the flower, gilius, the daffodil and the cloud pink bloomed or blossomed in their proper order as the months went by, one flower taking another flower's place so that there was always beautiful things to look at and pleasant odors to smell. Little hands had a great many friends, but the most devoted friend of all was Big Hug the Miller. Indeed, so devoted was the rich Miller to little hands that he would never go by his garden without leaning over the wall and plucking a large nosegay or a handful of sweet herbs or filling 
his pockets with plums and cherries if it was fruit season. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe to our channel and help us to make more videos like this. I will meet you soon in the part 2 video. Until then, bye. See you. Take care.